Next, we're going to cover media preparation. Media is a really important part of testing water for bacteria. What you're going to need is the right amount of media powder to mix with the right amount of water. The water has to be free from chemicals that you use to treat water. Where would I find that from? Could I use river water? Ideally, get hold of laboratory water. If you can't find laboratory water, use bottled drinking water. And if you can't find bottled drinking water, use filtered rainwater. You're going to need to find a suitable clean mixing container and a suitable clean way to measure the right amount of water. First of all, I'm going to add a little bit of water to the bottom of the mixing container. Removing the seal, I'm going to gently tip in the membrane oral sulfate powder and place it to one side. I'd already measured 400 milliliters of water, which I'm now going to add. 38.1 grams of membrane laurel sulfate powder makes 500 milliliters of media. I've saved 100 milliliters in order to be able to rinse out the container, which will still have some powder in it. I measure my... It's very important to use commercially prepared media and if you don't have access to the right volume already mixed you need to be very accurate to get the right amount of powder into the mixture. In this case we need 38.1 grams exactly to go into 500 milliliters of water. Using a, a suitable stirring instrument that's clean, in this, purpose, in this circumstance I've got a spoon, gently mix the powder until it's completely dissolved into the liquid. Okay, I've now finished completely mixing the powder into the uh, media mixture. What I'm going to do now is decant it into the storage bottles. I'm going to pour about 50 milliliters of media into each of the storage bottles. Does it matter if it's not exactly 50 mils? No, not at all. The important thing with mixing media is to get as precise a volume of MLSB powder to the water mix. What volumes it's subsequently stored in doesn't make any difference. It's better to store your media in small volumes because you're only going to use a small amount each day. Having evenly distributed the media into the various bottles, I'm now going to prepare them for sterilization. It's very important that you do sterilize your media and you should never store unsterilized media. Why is that, Lance? Unsterilized media could have unwanted bacteria in it from the mixing process, which would give you false results. What I'm doing here is loosely applying the lids so that they are on, but not securely fastened. There should be a good rattle in the top of the bottle. This will mean that when they go into the sterilizing vessels, they won't explode. 